Hey everybody, what's up? It's me back at again with another video, and today I got some late news that I didn't get to cover. I'm not joking, like this is incredibly late, and I deeply apologize for that. Anyways, I'm gonna be talking about the brand new wave of Transformers Studio Series figures. Now, before y'all go in the comments saying, oh, you know, some people already have a bunch of these figures. Well, I am very well aware of that. Like, I am very, very well aware of that. Like, some people already got Scrapper, Sentinel Prime, and Overload, and some even went out of their way to already complete Studio Series Devastator, which is just insane. Like, how are they getting these figures? Yeah, some people already got a bunch of figures from this wave, but I still really wanted to talk about them because... If I'm being honest, this wave looks amazing. So without further ado, let's work our way up to the deluxe class figures and then work our way up to the leader class figures. So the first figure that we have here is the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. And when I first heard and saw Studio Series Cliff Jumper, I was shocked. Like Studio Series Cliff Jumper for me was very, very unexpected. But still, I love the way this design looks. It looks amazing. And from the looks of the weapon he comes with and the way the arms are molded, it does look like as if he's going to be a very heavy remold of the deluxe class uh, Jeep Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. And the detail, it looks very, very nice. I really do like the detail on the chest. It does look like the front of the car mode. And there's no doubt that this mold will be later used for a Studio Series Deluxe Class Cybertronian Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. And also the head sculpt, yeah, the, the head sculpt looks pretty good as well. But the main reason why I was surprised is because this is our first Cybertronian styled character from the Bumblebee movie. And yeah, Cliff Jumper looks amazing. Other than the backpack cable being very large, it looks pretty good. I really, really dig the car mode on this guy. It looks very, very clean, very sleek, and just very tr Transformers Fall of Cybertron-esque. Like, I'm obviously getting Transformers Fall of Cybertron vibes from it, but then again, it is a Cybertronian figure from the Bumblebee movie. And that's the car mode. And now let's take a look at the next figure, who's my least favorite figure. Now, taking a look at my least favorite figure in this wave is the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Soundwave. And I say that because this guy is just a straight up remold of the Studio Series Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Like, they just reused the thigh pieces from the original Deluxe version. I do like the head sculpt though, it looks very very nice and it just looks better than the Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Now, one of the things I don't like about it also is the way he's going to transform. It looks like it's going to be a very, very lazy transformation. And the last thing that I don't like about him is that he doesn't come with Ravage. Now, I do like some of the light blue details. And if you look on his legs, it looks as if he's going to have some sort of dry brushing effect. And he's also going to be painted in all silver. Now, take a look at his alternate mode. He turns into this some sort of, I always called it a satellite hacking system thing and it makes sense what he turns into because it's Soundwave and he's a communications officer and it, it just makes sense it really makes sense like when you think of Soundwave you don't think of him turning into a Mercedes SLS AMG you think of him turning into some sort of boombox or this satellite hacking system but this just looks like a very, very lazy transformation. You can clearly see the legs in the back there and the arms are just there, just somewhat transformed, just, they're just there. And that's really all I gotta say about that. So without further ado, let's take a look at the next deluxe figure. So the next figure we have here is the Transformers Dark of the Moon Studio Series Deluxe Class Topspin, who is another addition to the Studio Series Wreckers from Dark of the Moon. And if I'm being honest, I'm speechless. I really, really love the way he looks. I always loved the way the Wreckers looked in the third movie. It just looks amazing. Now, aside from the backpack cable, yeah, the backpack cable looks, you know, very distracting a little bit. But I mean, other than that, he just looks like he just jumped straight out of the movie. 
And that's really all I'm gonna say about Topspin. That's that's really all I'm gonna say. Aside from the back kibble, he looks like he just jumped straight out of the movie. I can also say the same for the vehicle mode. I'm it it wow it wow that looks very movie accurate. The guns also look like they're gonna be detachable. I'm talking about those light gray guns at the top and on the side. They do look like they're gonna be detachable. And that's Topspin, without a doubt one of the strongest figures in this new Studio Series wave. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Voyager class figures now. So the first Voyager, and probably the only Voyager I'm going to be taking a look at is Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Voyager class Blitzwing. Who is yet again another Bumblebee movie character. All the characters from the Bumblebee movie except for Bumblebee are getting really good figure treatments. They look amazing. And Blitzwing without a doubt looks like one of the best figures in this wave as well. And just like Topspin, I have no complaints. It, he looks amazing. Okay, I do have one complaint, and that is that he just sort of lacks in paint a little bit. I would have loved to see some more silver, maybe. But other than that, he looks amazing. In my opinion, I think the jet mode looks okay. It just looks a little plain, pun intended. Because, again, there is just... A little bit of a lack of paint. I would have loved to see some more gray or some silver paint on this jet mode. And without a doubt, there's going to be a lot of robot kibble underneath the jet. Without a doubt. But other than that, I think the robo mode and the jet mode look gorgeous. And yeah, he just looks like another awesome addition to the Bumblebee movie cast. Now let's take a look at the next Voyager class figure. So the next figure we have here is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Constructicon Scrapper, who is another addition to the Studio Series Devastator, and he's going to be forming the right arm of Devastator. Now, I'm not going to be talking about Scrapper all that much, because people already have this figure, and yeah. But yeah, here, here's Scrapper, and the only thing I'm going to really say is that he looks like one of the coolest Constructicons out of all the, construct out of all the eight Constructicons. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Oh, and the claw looks cool too, but anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for the robot mode. The vehicle mode looks pretty cool too, though in my opinion, it does look a little chunky. Though I do like how the claw sort of stores into the middle of the bucket of the vehicle mode. Now let's take a look at the next Voyager class figure. Next up, we have Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Sentinel Prime. And my goodness, he looks gorgeous. He looks... I have no words. Again, I have no words. If you couldn't tell already, I I love this figure. It looks amazing. He looks amazing. It, it just He's loaded with detail. He looks extremely movie accurate. And again, I can't really talk that much about him because, again, people have already gotten this figure. All I'm going to say is that I just wish he came with a shield. I think that he should have came with a shield it would have completed his overall look. But I mean, he came with a sword, so I mean, it's okay. The vehicle mode though, looks stunning. I love the vehicle mode. It looks super duper clean. It just, I, I, I'm shocked. It, 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 well, I'm not shocked, but I, 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 I'm, I'm just speaking gibberish at this point. Anyway, I have no words. It looks, Amazing. What what else do you want me to say other than it looks clean? It looks just amazing. It looks amazing. It looks really, really just gorgeous. But anyway, that's Sentinel Prime, probably the most popular figure in this wave. And now let's take a look at the last and final figure in this wave. So the next figure and the last figure in this wave is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Constructicon Overload who in my opinion is probably my favorite figure from this wave and probably the best figure in this wave. Well, he's my favorite figure in this wave. Now, I know a lot of people already have this figure as well, but me personally, I think I'm gonna talk a little bit about him because I just love the way he looks. He looks amazing. And he seems heavily based off of old concept art that never made into the movie because if you remember, only his vehicle mode was in the movie. Sadly, his robot mode wasn't in the movie, probably because of budget and stuff like that. But I mean, at least he was in the movie, I guess. Sure. But still, the, the guy has four arms. Four arms. 
What more could you possibly want? Now, the original concept art had him with four legs, but then later got deduced to two legs, which is what this figure is based off of. The concept art where he only had two legs. But at least he has his four arms, and I am happy about that. I also forgot to mention that he's going to be turning to the lower waist of Devastator. I, I, I forgot to mention that. Now, take a look at his vehicle mode. All I can really say is that it looks weird. It looks odd. There just seems to be a lot of robot kibble just hanging off. Just, just... Okay, it's the big drum in the back there that just really bothers me. Obviously, it can be detachable, but it just... I don't know. Anyway, I mean, the vehicle mode looks cool, but it looks a little weird. And that's really all I got to say about the vehicle mode. And now that being said, let's talk about my overall feelings and thoughts about this entire wave. So if we're talking about the overall, if you couldn't tell already, I am thoroughly impressed by this entire wave. Now, of course, I didn't talk about Skipjack because I thought it'd be a waste of time to talk about a figure that already exists and got re-released in a different color. But I mean, he looks cool, I guess. Soundwave, in my opinion, I don't think he's that bad. I mean, he's, he looks pretty cool, I guess. Just, you know, he looks okay. He's just, he's just not that bad. And now with that being said, I think I'm gonna give this wave a 9.5 out of 10 overall. I just really love most of these figures. They just look amazing. Some of them were a bit of a surprise and some of them are just uh, amazing to look at. They look really cool to look at. My least favorite figure would probably have to be Skipjack or Soundwave. And my most favorite would have to be Overload. And that is today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see more content like this. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this overall wave. And hopefully this is the last time I cover anything that I'm late to. And now I realize this is probably not the last time. Yeah, the next video isn't going to be Transformers Studio Series related, but it is going to be Transformers related, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's going to do for this video, guys. I hope you all have an amazing day, stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.